your life to be living and and how you choose to see things and how you choose to believe things those have consequences and those consequences are not good or bad they just if you do this this happens and it's it's not a good or bad thing like there is a another way of seeing it and, and if, if you allow yourself to view it as a as the scale as, as a scale and the understanding of the scale then you get further and further to your truths it's something that happens and it shows you it's like okay this is the way it is you gotta kind of do it like this and, and and those scales people that you know that are Libras and, and people that you know that have uh, also Scorpios um, they have these scales in them in this different kind of way as an astrology I mean Libras and Scorpios are are kind of interesting the way they the way they the way they exist um, and just by anyone's being in presence of being or whatever they don't have to be this cosmic key person they just are Libras are the ones you kind of want to you want to trust certain aspects of the scale it already it already is the scale it's already that thing already and it's galactically challenged and set up to a bigger scale which everyone is kind of put on to but the scale already that's why they get so imbalanced because it's a lot of work it's a big responsibility to truly be a, a real Libra and the only way I can be at this point just by just by fucking life alone and workflow is just being of that of that scale of that Libra scale and, I, and I, I'm able to see things that other people can't see I'm able to see situations that other people can't see and, and then it gets involved in the cosmic -y, kind of bullshitty kind of force level and I can see things in people's lives or I can make predictions or whatever it is but um that's where that all comes from and that's where that responsibility comes from is being involved with being uh it's part of the scale of being like Libra, or, and everybody has their own fucking reason why they're there, and everyone has an awesome, you know, whatever the hell they are, astrology-wise, but the bottom line is everybody has to adhere to that scale, and Libras and, and Scorpios just kind of have a different, different look on it. Every astrology has a different look on it, and every astrology would you know, has a different look on entirely what what is being said, because to me it's, it's, you know, it's something I learned to do, something I learned uh, from just being and, and, and seeing it. Everything is, everything is set up on a scale. Everything is set up on this basis where um, you connect, you connect this self with other selves and versions of that and then when you get rid of the ego then you start to see that everyone around you is part of that self and everyone around you is part of that illusion and it's part of that very that very same very same thing and uh, it's hard to explain all of uh, um, the stuff that goes through it because everyone has a different one for themselves everybody's got a different interpretation of how this works or, or what this is or vice versa or whatever so it's kind of interesting it's kind of interesting to see uh, why or how or what what really goes down and what happens <coughs> um, my thoughts on all of this or at least most of this is that I apply these to my life and these are my own disciplines. Everyone has their own discipline. That's why everybody has their own different kind of take on astrologies and different kind of take on, on things is they have that. Uh, I should really, eh, I can't. No, it's like a little bit of a skirmish, not like a real fight fight, but like a, uh, like a lady bossing around this kid and, and like, it's kind of like my cup of tea to kind of intervene, but I can't, man. I'm like, I'm all pooped out on people's energy. They just, they always do what I think they're gonna do, and it's always the wrong thing. So then, what's the question? Is it me uh, projecting? Probably. Maybe it's my fault. It's always my fucking fault. But um, 
I could feel it. I could feel something coming, happening, and, and shifting and, and re rearranging. And it's really just how I obey the illusion. I gotta listen. I gotta pay attention to it. I kind of fucking just let it lead me, and, and the day will be better. And the editing, all this other shit that I think that I'm doing, will all come in the time. It's not. I should be healing. I should be exercising. I should be feeling the way I want to feel about everything and getting myself into, into, into that fucking frame of mind. <clears throat> getting myself into that frame of mind. And it is, and like, even in this weird kind of sense of like what I'm looking at and what I'm viewing here, what I'm seeing in this world, is like things different, act differently to how I feel inside and I can see them projected in front of me and, and whatever the fuck is happening whether it's a car drive ride and see people around me whether it's the stores and the, the traffic or, or the kind of traffic that it is or the kind of situation in the traffic that it is red lights green lights fucking cars stopping and suddenly and not stopping and then things like happening and just looking at you know things differently and just seeing things differently and it's just a the bottom line is that it's all part of this thing and we made it that way it's not like oh every, you think everything is spiritual no you fuck we made it that way we 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 developed this system of, of being we just developed this whole thing if this is truly is the simulator and that way of the simulator then we've developed this there's no there's no way around that you know there's no way around it